Tonight's presidential debate could be the decider in this razor-close election. The polls, if you've been watching them, they gave round one to Mitt Romney and round two to President Obama. Political science professor Jason Johnson's here with us again. Okay, you've consulted for both parties now. Jason, let's talk about tonight's format um, and how that could affect the outcome compared to the last debates. What do you think? Well, this is going to be really important. This race is a dead heat. Obama was in the lead, Romney surged after the first debate, he fell back. They are actually at the exact same point that John Kerry and George Bush were at in 2004. So this last debate, I don't know if it's going to change anything heading forward, but it's going to have a lot to do with enthusiasm and turnout after mm -hmm. this debate. See who acts more confident tonight, too. Exactly. Now, what do you think? A lot of times you hear that on foreign policy that the incumbents have the advantage there. What do you think? Um, with, will Romney have to make up for that? I should say the presidents have the advantage, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for Mitt Romney. Look, foreign policy is not a good area for challengers. And basically, he's in the role that Barack Obama was in in 2008. Mitt Romney doesn't have any international experience. I mean, he can say that he ran the Olympics, but that's the same thing as when Obama used to say, I used to live abroad. So it's very hard for him to find ways to critique the president, he's going to have to go after China and Libya and hope that he can land some blows. I think it's going to be really hard for him. Now, 35 states plus D.C. have early voting. you got to wonder if that's going to make a difference in the election. What do you think in watching the debate, too? It's, it's already money in the bank. Look, I mean, you, you look at a place like Ohio, which is very key. Ohio's early voter turnout has been up 30 percent over 2008. You had 1,500 people vote on day one in Trumbull County, which is where you have Youngstown, Ohio. So most people have voted already. Most people are already enthusiastic or not enthusiastic about whoever it is they're voting for. So I don't think this debate is going to change anything. But again, if someone screws up, if someone doesn't seem enthusiastic, it could affect enthusiasm and that ends up making a difference. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see how it all turns out. Jason Johnson, thank you so much for coming in early, <laughs> as always. All right. Now, Nature Lens Kira Phillips, by the way, she's going to be at the debate in Boca Raton, Florida. You're going to look for her live reports later on today on HLN. Mm -hmm.